Hi everyone, my name is Natalie. Today I wanted to do my July announcement for Invisible Cities. So I will leave all of the information you need about Invisible Cities below. If you haven't heard, it is a reading project that I'm doing with a group of people where we encourage reading more translated literature and exploring other countries and cultures through reading and other media as well. We have a Discord, so that will be linked along with all of the other information below. Uh, the uh, structure of the, the project is that we choose three countries per month. And so today I wanted to announce the three countries we're focusing on in July, which are Panama, Israel, and Ethiopia. So I have uh, done some digging into potential books I could read for all of these three countries as I usually do and for Panama I haven't really decided on anything in particular. Uh, I couldn't find anything available through my library so I might have to do some more digging into that. Uh, I know for example that Sigrid Nunes is part Panamian uh, so that might be an option if I f don't find anything else and I really loved The Friend by her. For Ethiopia I'm mostly interested in Addis Ababa Noir. So this is an anthology uh, edited by Maza Mengisti and this is an anthology series really uh, with noir short stories gathered from different parts of the world and I've been interested in checking this anthology series out in the past with previous months of Invisible Cities but I thought this would be a fantastic way to explore some Ethiopian uh, writers that I have never heard of and um, get a sense of authors that I might like to explore further. The editor, as I said, um, Maza Mengiste, is the author of The Shadow King, which I also think sounds really fa uh, fantastic. Uh, so that might be an uh, another option if I don't go for this one. For Israel, I have uh, a few options available through my library that was definitely much easier in terms of accessibility. Um, so one of the options I have is The People of Forever Are Not Afraid by Shani Boyanju, and I think this was originally written in English, um, but it is written by an author who lives in Israel, as far as I can tell, and uh, or was uh, was born and lives now in Israel. It says, "Yal, Avishag, and Leah grow up in together." grow up together in a tiny, dusty Israeli village, attending a high school made up of caravan classrooms, passing notes to each other to alleviate the universal boredom of teenage life. When they are conscripted into the army, their lives change in unpredictable ways, influencing the women they become and the friendship that they struggle to sustain. So it's about female friendship and female relationships and sort of a coming of age, it seems like, uh, which definitely sounds interesting. But the other option I have for Israel is probably the one that I'm most most excited about out of all of these and it's called Motti by Asaf Shur. Uh, this was translated by Todd Hasaglowi I think and the description starts with um, being this book being about a man who owns a dog called Laika, so I was already sold, to be honest. Moti is at once an exercise in simplicity a self-conscious investigation into storytelling, so that also bodes well. Uh, sits of a chilling ethical compromise in the spare, sober narrative. Told by an outside observer who doesn't hesitate to share his opinion, the novel depicts the unequal friendship between Moti and Menachem, two middle-aged men living in Jerusalem. Again, sort of a friendship, relationship, um, in exploration between two men in this uh, in this instance. The the style of it sounds really interesting and very much like my kind of thing and it's also published by Dalkey Archive Press uh, which I know, know do a lot of interesting things as well uh, so that's another reason I was drawn to this one and also it has a fantastic cover so that definitely helps. So those are the ones that I have my eye on for potentially reading for July for Invisible Cities. I would love to know if you have any ideas of what you would like to read for these three countries and if you have any recommendations for me as, a, as always I'm really um, grateful for those if you have any you would like to share in the comments below. Uh, I hope you're doing well and you're taking care of yourselves and I will talk to you soon.